Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy T and I'm coming to you with another episode of A Road to 100K, which is basically my haul video series where I just say, show you the comics I pick up trying to build that $100,000 collection. So I'm going to get right into the books and I'll be right back. Basically, before I start, I just wanted to thank everybody who so far has liked and subscribed, hit the bell, the notifications, left comments. Like, we love all that. As you can see, we got ourselves a new set. You know, it's not completely set up yet, but this is basically our clubhouse. So, you know, over time, it's definitely going to improve. But as promised, we got more content coming to you. And in that vein, um, I'm actually going to start out by showing you kind of some of the hard covers because I am going to eventually, you know, talk about some hard covers in some videos because that's how I choose to consume the content. Um, I like to read it in arcs. I find it helps my memory because my memory is kind of shady. Uh, sometimes, like guys like Mark, they'll actually arc wait where he'll collect the singles for the entire arc and then read it, and then that way he gets a good, you know, chunk. And hey, that's that's fine too. But I like hard covers. I like the way they look on the shelf. I like the collection. So the first hard cover I picked up in this bi-weekly haul or this weekly haul is a uh, Batman the Button. I heard a lot about this story. A lot of people said it was really good. It's actually cool because it's a hardcover with a lenticular, which is pretty awesome. So I'm happy that I actually got that. The next hardcover I picked up was uh, Batman the Master Race, or Dark Knight the Master Race, that the new one, three I think it is. I, because Frank Miller was on Batman, I decided to just like really take a chance on this book. I've unfortunately heard it is not that good so far, which is, Oh well, but hey, I just ordered it without, usually I wait until I hear something about it. I just went with it because Frank Miller, Batman, I thought it'd be good. Hopefully, I everything comes down to your own opinion, so hopefully when I read this, I still like it. Uh, the next hardcover I picked up was The Amazing Spider-Man Worldwide, number two. This is the, uh, this is the this hardcover two in that new series with the... I, I thought I wouldn't like it because, you know, Spidey's all hoity-toity, but it's actually been a good series. I read book one. I really enjoyed it, so I'm going to continue with that. And the last hardcover I picked up in the last two weeks was uh, Marvel the Hip Hop Covers number two. I'm happy to have this. Uh, I kind of started to collect those hip hop covers and then as they came out with different ones and then they just never ever stopped. I think they still, no I think they finally came out with some rock ones but they did it for like a year. So it's good to have the book that just collects them. That way I don't have to have piles and piles of books and plus it's a good coffee table book. People like looking at it like obviously people are hip hop fans that come to my house so I love it. Good book to have. So those are basically the hardcovers, and like I said, I will be kind of talking about and reviewing hardcovers with one of the guys that we do the podcast with, Marie G. So definitely, like I said, man, just keep subscribing, keep checking back. And if you know of any hardcovers or any story arcs or good books that I should read, then let me know. So we're going to get right into the second section, which is the book section. So, you know, that's what everyone's here to see. So I'm going to start out with the new books that I got this week. And uh, the first book that I picked up was... Some weed magic, baby. 420 is the price. Um, I was happy to find this book. This book is already going for 20 on eBay. I personally think that is like not going to last. I don't see this book carrying on and on at that kind of price. But either way, I'm not going to go for the quick flip because I do enjoy, I, I've always enjoyed homage covers and I do enjoy the kind of action number one homage that they're showing on there. So that's a cool book and it supposedly has a really good story. So I'm hoping, I don't know if I'll crack it, if it'll come out in something else, but I don't know. We'll definitely have to check it out. The next book I'm going to put in there is Batman 32. And this is basically the one where Catwoman answers Batman's proposal. Um, I don't even think this book's going to go anywhere. I mean, at the most, you're going to be able to bundle this with Catwoman's whatever and I, I'm not even gonna say anymore because I, I'm not gonna spoil it what she says for anybody or anything like that but yeah I still decided to put that in there so the next book that I'm gonna put in there and I don't even know what's going on with this book I didn't really see why but for some reason this book's going for 20 I, I don't even know I feel like I even still see this book out in the wild but I could be completely wrong and that is Batman the Dawnbreaker um, I decided to just keep one of these because I really like foil covers. I like shiny things. Uh, this is just the regular foil cover. I have no clue why they're already seeing sales on eBay of 20 plus, like I'm at like 25 and stuff. I don't know, but 
I'll definitely, like, I hope that they package these in some sort of trade eventually because I've heard that the Red Death and the other ones and, like, I can't even wait for Batman Who Laughs and they're pretty good so far, so I'm definitely going to keep that. The next book I'm going to throw in there is, is um, Harley Quinn number 29, and that is basically because, you know, I, I've already talked about how I collect the Frank Cho variants. I'm actually going to go for the whole run of the, the Harleys. I'm just going to collect them all, even though there's a couple I think are subpar. This one's actually pretty good. She's in that uniform. They obviously, as Mark's pointed out, they the Dash Hound, I don't know what that theme is. I don't know if that's her pet in the book. I don't know. I don't read it right now. So, But, um, yeah, I liked it. The next book I'm going to put in there is going for 8 to 10, and I only picked up the variant of this, and that is Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, or Ivy, Meet Betty and Veronica, the Adam Hughes cover. Um, I'm a collector of all covers Adam Hughes, picked this up day one for cover. So, yeah, man, I think, and I actually think it's a pretty cool issue, you know, I'm, I'm actually interested to see how, exactly how they kind of interact in the book, like superheroes with them, like, I don't know, I don't know, but I, I don't even know how this is going to be as a read, I'm, I'm interested to hear if any of you guys have actually read this book, definitely let us know how it is. The next book I'm going to put in there is only because I've just been collecting them all, and that is, is Dark Knight's Metal, I've heard, like, really good things about this, I'll probably read it in the trade. Always got to collect the regular foil cover like shiny things, just the regular foil stamped. Also going for around $10, I'm a big fan of Jim Lee, so I also always have to grab the Dark Knight's Metal Jim Lee variant. It's actually really cool as you can see, it features the bat who laughs right in the middle. And I like that cover, it's really cool. The next book I'm going to put in there is Supergirl number 14, and that is the Art Germ variant, of course. I wouldn't collect up the real covers. I'm, I'm not really into Supergirl much. I like the little mini image of Supergirl. I kind of like the... Uh, it's an okay cover. Personally, I like the other ones. I like Supergirl and her outfit big. That's just me, but still quality. The next book I'm going to put in there is Guardians of the Galaxy number 11, and this is basically just a regular Matina cover. Um, I actually thought this was a really good cover of Dick Ryder, or Richard Ryder, I know, Nova. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, I thought this was a really cool cover with the middle, nice Matina. Definitely going to keep that. The next books that I bought and I'm going to put in there, and, I, and I'm, I'm not even going to chase all of these, but I do like some of them. And the first one is actually X-Men Gold number 13, and that is the Lenticular Homage variant by Ben Caldwell. Um, I've only collected a few of these, the ones like, this is the uh, X-Men number 100, which is the old team versus new team as a key. I've always really enjoyed this cover and book, so I definitely kept that. Um, I also kept the uh, Spirits of Vengeance number one, which is another Lenticular Homage by Ken Lashley. Um, I, I do, I, you know, I, I don't think the lenticular quality is quite as good as the DC books, but still, I, I do like the ones that have the iconic covers that I love. And this one actually is the homage of the giant size X-Men number one where they show the, the new team. The next book I'm going to put in there is another lenticular homage, and it goes for about $10, and it's actually one of the better ones that I've found have come out in the last two weeks, and that is the, um, the Iron Fist, I believe it is number 73 variant. And uh, I love the homage of this. This one's by Mike Perkins, and uh, it basically is Iron Fist 14, which is the first Sabretooth. I love the original cover of that. That's a key issue I love, so. The next one I'm gonna put in is actually one of my favorites so far. I was really happy to find this. It actually took me a couple stores to find it, and that is the Despicable Deadpool number 287. And of course I love this because this is straight up, um, this is the Salvia Espin lenticular homage, and of course it is the homage to the ASM 129 First Punisher. It's awesome, I, I just love how it's like Deadpool, like shooting stuff, it's, yeah, it's a cool cover and it's, I like the striking yellow, really cool homage. The next book I'm going to put in there is actually the last homage that I, okay, so actually not the last homage I found good last week, I just couldn't find that Alex Ross one, so I'm still hunting for that, so it still may come, I haven't gone to all the stores yet. But this one I have basically is the uh, Venom 155, 
It basically is the Francisco French Francisco Francesco Matina lenticular homage, which is cool, man. You get a, it's like Matina and a homage, and it's Spidey with Venom. Like I like this book will. I love this book, and actually, if you look at his image, Venom is awesome, man. If you get a chance to look at this book, definitely look at the lenticularized Venom. Um, this is a homage of the Amazing Spider-Man 546, which is basically the first like when Brand New Day starts like that. So, um, and I don't. And if you do care, it is the second appearance of Mr. Negative. Not a very big character, so why would you collect a second? But I felt to might as well mention it. The next book I put up for some reason I don't know. Everywhere I go, I've seen a lot of this, so I don't know why it's going for seventeen dollars. But I picked up the. Uh, the Venom 155 1 to 10 headshot variant. Uh, one of the stores I went to, they just had these for cover price. I love Venom. They had a bunch of different head ones. I, 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 don't, I don't even love this, but it's still pretty neat. This one's done by Mike McCone, or Mick One McCone, I think it is, and it's a 1 to 10. I thought it was pretty cool, especially for cover price for a 1 to 10, right? Because they just ordered so many. This next book I love. And I actually was afraid that I overpaid for it, but now that I see what it's going for, I'm happy. And that is, is the Venom 155 1 to 50 Francesco Matina variant. This is awesome, man. Venom looks awesome. I love how the dudes in the Spidey mask pointing the gun. Um, when I first bought this, it was kind of impulse, and I was like, oh, I mulled it over. But then I went home and saw that it was going on eBay for like 65, 70s. 60s so i was happy with what i paid it's a matina 1 to 50 like nice like a nice venom I, i'm really happy to have this book and i'm happy so love this the next book i picked up was because i actually picked up a few spider-man books and i picked up a couple spider-man books all over the place but this is one that i picked up this is a uh, amazing spider-man 789 and it's also the 1 to 10 legacy headshot variant I just got it because it was Spidey. The place I went, they had these one to tens for cover price. This is another one Bandai. This is another one done by Mark McQuan or McCone. So I really enjoy this book, though. The next books are just some books I've picked up along the way. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I always am at different stores. Maybe there was something on the wall. Maybe there was something in a bin. Maybe there was something at an old bookstore. Um, this is a Catwoman 53, which is an Adam, which is a regular Adam Hughes cover. I think this is actually a second print. And I didn't, and I gotta be honest with everyone, I actually didn't know that when I picked it up, but I'll collect the first and second print. I only paid three bucks for it. The next book I picked up was Batman the Shadow, number one. I picked up the the blank variant, and I actually see Riley, I'm, we're from Calgary, and I actually see Riley Rossmo around town all the time. So I actually got him to put like a really cool sketch of the Joker on there. I don't know if you can see it, because it is in pencil, but it's a really nice sketch. I waited in line for that, so yeah, I liked it a lot. Um, the sketches and stuff like that, I'm not gonna try to add value onto the comic book realm. I don't care, this is just for me. Like, I don't wanna try to ascertain what that's worth. The next book I picked up was a DC Comics Presents, Harley Quinn number one. This is just kind of like, I believe this is just a reprint if I'm not mistaken, Mark? Yes. Okay, yeah, this is just a reprint. It collects a bunch of stuff. It's still going for 25, so I was happy to get it for cover price. Um, it's really neat. It's got a nice Alex Ross cover. I, I really enjoy it, so I'm happy to put that in the collection. The next book I'm going to put in the collection is actually uh, just, I, I just came across, like sometimes on eBay I'll just search like old books because I do like Golden Age and stuff like that. So the next book actually is a Golden Age book. It's very minor key, like don't get too excited, but it's Action Comics 282. And this is actually the last 10 cent issue on Action Comics. Again, it's minor, but hey man, I like the minor keys. I like all the minor stuff. Really nice golden age issue. And if you look at that, well, I don't think it's golden age, but it's a 10 cent. Early silver. Early, early silver. And if you look at that, it, like the condition is pretty immaculate on it. Like it's a beautiful book. So sorry, I didn't mean to say golden age. I just meant the 10 cent is what I was kind of trying to go for. The next book I picked up, I was just given, it was just given to me for a quarter in a bin I found Daily Bugle Avenging Spider-Man. I don't I don't think this is worth anything. It's free. Um, I do collect Spider-Man books of all kinds because he is my favorite hero. I collect as many Spider-Man number ones as I can find, the variants. 
Um, yeah, I think this is just the normal cover to the Avenging Spider-Man number one, but I did like how it was a daily bugle of edition, and so that was kind of cool. So definitely going to keep that. The next book I'm going to throw in there is probably got about 2 million copies out there. So, I mean, you could probably find it in every dollar bin around or whatever. But Amazing Spider-Man number one. I believe this is the series just before the newest. I don't know. I Like I said, I just collect Spidey number ones. I found this somewhere, and I think you even found it in the $2 bin, and it's got like in a ridiculous $6 price. Like, But it's a brand, it's mint. The next book I picked up is only because I actually, so I, I like I said, I do collect a lot of Spider-Man books. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to collect up all the keys, but I also like, Mar Mark had informed me that a lot of the 600s, especially the higher ones, they were underprinted because like, so I do like to try to collect the Spider-Man 600 plus variants. I find they're a lot more rare and stuff like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this one is actually the 1 to 20. This is actually Amazing Spider-Man number 648 that I found. It's a 1 to 25 Marco Smartin wraparound variant. I don't know. I like the cover. It's got the cool, you know, it's almost got like the Superman bite where he's ripping off the, the thing. I, I don't know. I like it. It's not a homage or anything. I just mean the way that he seems to be tearing off with his, to reveal his costume. Um, yeah, I, I, I will collect as many Spider-Man variants as I can, especially the 600 plus. The very last book I'm going to put in to the, uh, the collection is actually another like key that I've got, and that is, is the, uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 134, which is an awesome book. It's the, it's the first Tarantula, and it's actually the second Punisher. Really nice condition, really happy to have this book. Trying to collect as many Spider-Man keys as I can, so anytime I come across ones for a good price, I'm going to throw that in. So, I mean, I'm really happy to have this book. And uh, yeah, that's my haul for this last two weeks. I know I, I pick up a lot of stuff, but yeah, I'm happy to have every book I got. Hey guys, well, hey, thanks for checking in on my third haul video. And after the three haul videos, it looks like our total so far is $2,200. So, you know, I'm getting up there, I'm getting up there. I'm going to hit that 100K eventually. So make sure you guys continue to tune in to these videos. I hope you found or saw some books that you liked, some books that you can go find or you know, some keys that you didn't know about. So make sure you like, subscribe, you know, hit the bell, do all that good stuff. And we'll definitely see you next time.